Hi everybody, Dan here. Today I'm going to show you how to design in Blender 2.8 a wet concrete ground with puddle of rain on it. Let's start with the setting using Eevee. I used to activate ambient occlusion, bloom and screen space reflection. These are the settings I use for this uh, tutorial. Then I'm going to add a background. The background it's in the world tab and in the color channel you want to choose an environment texture and download your texture. The texture I'm using is called Shanghai Band. It's a 2K texture and I'm going to show you how it looks like. Here's the texture loaded. The texture comes from uh, HDRI Heaven from uh, Gregzal. Thank you so much Greg for your work. I'm a big fan. Um, you can download a lot of different HDRI for environment um, lighting. Uh, the one I choose it's in the night category and this this one Shanghai Band. You can download the resolution uh, you want. My computer cannot do screen recording and 3D at the same time so I downloaded a 2K only. But of course if you have a higher quality also the quality of the light is gonna be even better. So let's go back to Blender. The first element in our C, the first and only element in our C, it's actually a plane. So add mesh plane. And the plane we have has no subdivision, no geometry, it's just a plane plane. A plane plane. To achieve the effect, I made three different versions and with different technique using procedural maps and using bitmaps and the mix of the two technique but most of all I, I made this to show uh, how flexible is Blender and how good result you can achieve the first version of the shader which, he, which, is, uh, which is this one it takes a moment to load it looks very good but it's the heaviest on the system it's completely procedural. I also added to the scene this uh, human. Uh, it's a scan actually from uh, um, Rastam Aryazov. It's a very talented 3D artist and he shared these models on Sketchfab. Uh, this specific model was uh, a Creative Common uh, Attribution. It's an amazing model. And it's a 3D scan. So if you want to check his art, go to a sketch fab and you can see some amazing model from uh, Rostam. Back to our model, I'll, I'll show you the first version of the ground. You can see that the floor is more reflective in some areas where the water is there's more reflection and where the concrete is not wet there's actually less reflection or no reflection let's see how I built the shader here you can see the full map of the shading network and I'm going to show you a bit at a time so the shader is made of two different material the water puddles and the concrete underneath um, they are mixed in a mix shader node and which part to be wet and which part to be dry is decided by this noise texture up here. I'm going to show you every single part how they influence the um, final result. So you the concrete only which is this one it's completely procedural and it's made by a color given by the noise texture converted into a black and white the noise texture it's usually a color so I had to convert in black and white actually black and gray because I didn't want any white and the color channel is uh, going into the uh, base color of the principal shader I have also some mapping coordinates for the, uh, this noise texture 
and I have the texture coordinates coming from the object. It's a procedural material, so you can apply to any material without having to unwrap the UV of the object. Let's remove the bump so you can see the color, which is a fine grain. It's a mix of black and white, so it's this noise texture. To make it more realistic, I want to add some bump map. So the bump map, it's a mix of two texture. The original noise texture that goes into a, um, into a node, which is a mix RGB node. In mix RGB node, you can mix two uh, color information and I use the add mode. This is uh, how it looks like, it, the title changed to add. The other texture I'm using, so I'm mixing the two texture. One is the fine grain, the other one are this uh, kind of uh, scars and it's given by this other texture. So let me show this texture only. Here we have one of the two uh, noise texture and then mixed with the other one with the add mode this is the result. So we have the first material which is the concrete. Let's have a look at the second part, which is the water. Let's link the water to the output. And here is our water. You can see there is some wave in the water. I will explain you why, but mainly it's a completely reflective surface. So no roughness and this waviness is given by a bump map created with another noise texture. Noise texture is a very powerful node, you can use it for so many things. Again, I changed some of the mapping coordinates and I'm recycling the texture coordinate coming from the object for a number of things. So as you can see, you have the water and I'll show you already the other shader here which is the concrete so the only thing we needed was something to say when to show the water and when to show the concrete so i made another texture another noise texture which i changed slightly i adjusted the contrast the brightness and the amount of um, um, islands so i'll show you how this texture would look like it's a noise texture that you can edit, you can edit the shape easily with the mapping. And I use this as our mask into the FAC channel. And here is the first one. Something I would like to spend some time, it's about animating the water. Right now the water is pretty still, but actually, as we have here this noise texture just for the bump of the water, if we move those waves around, moving the texture coordinates, we can simulate the movement in the water only. You can see in the reflections here how how the wave moves. You can also increase, let's say if there is wind, probably you want more waves in the water. You can, you can see how the reflection change, just changing the position of the waves. You can see his legs moving in the reflection. Let's move to the second version which is achieved in a different way. The look is slightly different, it's more like a total wet ground. And this time I used a mix of procedural nodes, like the noise texture, and I also added a, for the islands to decide which parts are 
uh, wet and which part are dry or which part are water, I use this uh, map here, coral mud, which you can see here, which is this one. I downloaded it from a website in the same network of HDRI Haven, you can see Texture Haven, again a lot of free texture, very high quality. Thank you Rob Twittell, uh, I hope I'm saying your name right, thank you Rob. It's an amazing website, a lot of categories and for each texture you can find all of the different channels. Bump, Diffuse, of course the Color, Normal, Specular. The good thing is that they come in a very high resolution, so it's very good for photorealistic uh, works. Let me show you again the, all the different parts of this material. First of all, the concrete part, so the ground. The ground is this, it's the same one I used before, so I don't need to go through this again. While is this one, which is a mix. The wet part of the ground is actually uh, less, uh, um, less reflective than before and it has some kind of mud. The bump map this time is the same map we are using for the masking, to mask the two, um, the two shaders. And this is how you can see this small um, pebbles and the small craters on the ground. Final result, mixing the two shaders, the wet and the dry. Again, you can play with the settings and having a mix of the two shaders. This time I'm also using the, the color to change the roughness of the water. So if I remove this, you can clearly see how everything becomes much more shiny. It was too shiny, too wet. I decided that I wanted something that was in between being completely wet and, and dry. I'm surprised my computer can, can still process in real time this. Let's go to the third one. Oh, first of all, I want to show you quickly the difference in between this, the size of this network, shading network, and this, which is smaller, and it's actually faster to render in real time. This one has too many uh, procedural uh, nodes and my computer really struggle. Again, my computer is quite old, so this one is much faster. And the third one, it's even faster because I basically replaced a lot of the noise and nodes with bitmap. If you have a very good graphic card, probably you can process a lot of information real time, procedural maps real time, but in my case I have a lot of uh, RAM, I have a very good CPU, but Blender 2.8 can't run on my GPU, so my graphic card is basically unused. And in this case, probably it's easier for the system to load um, texture uh, on the memory. So I moved some of the processing from the GPU, which I don't have basically, to the CPU and the, the RAM. So I loaded texture in place of nodes. Let's see how I made this. This is more similar to the first one. And we have the base. Let's see the base which is concrete, but this time the concrete look is given by using two texture. This one is for the color. Which one? This one goes into the color. I changed the, the saturation, I want it less saturated than it was and I change the U slightly and it goes into the color channel. And then I use for the bump map from the same uh, texture pack, which I downloaded from Texture Heaven again. So it's this one, rock one. I use the normal map and the diffuse map for the color. So this one, it's our first layer 
very simple. Second shader, it's water. It's the same water we used in the beginning, in the first version. Again, as the bump map that I use for waviness is given by the noise texture, very simple. You can see water moving here and the mapping from the texture coordinate object. There's nothing else in this shader. But this time, the islands of water are decided by the noise texture instead of a bitmap as the previous one. Again, same uh, coordinates, fact channel, and the shader goes out. So what I want to show you is how faster is this. compare to the first one. If you have any question, please leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel and I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial. See you later.